Python 3 programming specialization from the University of Michigan. This is one of the top Python courses on Coursera. Over 200,000 students already enrolled in this program. There are more than 16,000 reviews. And it has a high rating of 4.7 out of 5. But what's so good about it? Is it worth taking? Or should you consider other options online? My name is Daniel and today I am going to talk about Python 3 programming specialization from University of Michigan. And here are some questions I am going to answer today. What is this specialization about? What kind of content does it offer? What about its price and certification? Will it help with finding a job? As always, we will look at some student reviews and I will share my own opinion on this program. Also, guys, I will leave all course-related links in the description below, so check them out after watching this video. Ok, let's start. Course Overview We'll start with the fact that this specialization is brought to you by the University of Michigan, one of the best public research universities in the United States and globally. So, right from the start, you know that you are going to learn from professionals. Another thing to say about it is that it's not one of those big comprehensive programs. It's a fairly small specialization designed to introduce you to the very basics of Python. Based on some student feedback I have seen, it teaches you Python as your first programming language. That's why if you are not new to programming, it might seem somewhat slow and boring for you. On the other hand, if you are a complete newbie and want to get into programming with Python, it should be a nice choice. By the way, there is another important thing to note about this specialization. Recently I reviewed two other University of Michigan specializations on this channel. They are Python for everybody and applied data science with Python. Feel free to check them out on my channel if you are interested. So guys, this core series I am talking about today is supposed to come right between them. That's why if you already took Python for everybody, this is a great next step to consider. What will you learn here? Well, guys, this specialization starts from scratch and covers the basics of programming in Python 3. So be ready to start with fundamentals. And I mean variables, conditionals and loops. But what I think is great about it is that it doesn't just focus on basics only. In later courses you will be able to explore more advanced topics like keyword parameters, list comprehensions, lambda expressions and class inheritance. And I really like that they go from beginner to intermediate concepts. Course instructors. Now, folks, let's talk about people who teach this specialization. There are three instructors here. Steve Oni, Christopher Brooks and Paul Resnick. They are programmers, tech educators and computer scientists. And all of them are professors at the University of Michigan. So, guys, you know you are in a good hands when you enroll. Course content. Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel, if you enjoy the content I make. That's all. Alright, and now let's see what kind of content this specialization program offers. This specialization includes four courses and a final project. Here they are. Python basics, Python functions, files and dictionaries, data collection and processing with Python, Python classes and inheritance, and finally Python project, pillow, tesseract and OpenCV. But make no mistake, these courses are packed with lots of content. They take from 16 to 34 hours to complete. And because each course here is quite large, they are broken down into smaller modules. 3 to 5 modules in each. I have to say, when reviewing this specialization program, I was happy to see that it gives you plenty of opportunities to learn by doing. With this course series, you will get to practice your programming skills. In particular, you will learn how to understand the execution of programs. And this knowledge will definitely help you effectively troubleshoot programs when things go wrong. And you know what? Almost every other course here has a cool project to work on. In the second course, you will build a basic sentimental analyzer that counts positive and negative words in tweets. In the third course, you will combine two APIs to craft a movie recommender. 
And finally, in the last course, Python project, Pillow Tesseract and OpenCV, you will work with OCR or optical character recognition and object detection in images. Honestly, guys, this all sounds super interesting to me. Price and certification. Now let's talk money. Uh -oh. This specialization isn't free since it's on Coursera. That's why you will need a monthly subscription to get started. But there is good news too, it's included in Coursera Plus. That means your subscription covers not only this course, but a bunch of others too. In fact, there are currently over 7000 courses that come with Coursera Plus. Remember guys, the Coursera pricing can change, and sometimes there are discounts. So it's a good idea to check directly on the platform. You can find link in the description. Ok, now let's talk about certification. When you complete the whole specialization, the University of Michigan gives you a career certificate. And no doubt, it's a neat badge for your LinkedIn profile and resume. But folks, I have to say, the most valuable thing here is the knowledge that you pick up along the way. Career opportunities People, my subscribers often ask me, Daniel, does finishing this course guarantee me a job? No. No? <laughs> Folks, I have to say, this specialization won't automatically land you a job. And it's not supposed to. Because it's a compact course series focused on Python programming language. But don't get me wrong. This certification program equips you with solid knowledge and handy skills. But to lock in a job, you will need to dive deeper and put in more work. Consider adding more practice to your learning journey. And of course, don't forget about the importance of preparing for interviews. Because it can make a significant difference. Student reviews. Now let's see what students think about this specialization program. Well, I can say that it's pretty well reviewed little course series. And from what I have seen, the majority of reviews are quite positive. Students seems to like that it's well explained and has a decent number of practical projects to work on. As an example, here is one of the 5 star reviews. This course is awesome. For those who are seeking for Python basics and data structures using Python should join this course. The instructors are good, taught the concepts well. On the other hand, I have noticed that some students aren't happy with the final project. They complain about the lack of guidance that made it more challenging than they expected. To be honest, the test of week 1 was really frustrating. This course is totally different from the 4 previous courses. Course 1 to 4 with Steve and Paul was more like riding a bike with training wheels. Then on course 5 Christopher came along and kicked them away. Felt quite frustrating. But at the end, this is more like in real life, where you have to find the solutions on your own. The lectures are ok, the video when you just watch someone reading the text didn't help much. So guys, make sure you remember that. And as I always recommend, do your own research before enrolling. Or watch video reviews like this one. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. Is Python 3 programming specialization on Coursera worth it? Finally, let's sum it all up and answer the last big question. Is it worth your time, effort and money to invest in this program? And my answer is yes. I would say it's a fantastic choice for those looking to boost their skills. Given the content and the way it teaches practical Python programming, I think it's the valuable investment. The program is well organized, thorough and heads on. However, if you just starting with Python, you may want to consider starting with a more basic program like Python for everybody. Alright, my fellow developers, that's all about the Python 3 programming specialization from the University of Michigan. I left all course related links in the description below. Make sure to check them out. As always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe on this channel. Thanks for watching and till next time.